My name is Ashley Dean and I'm an Extension Specialist for Field Crop Entomology here at Iowa State University. I'm at a cornfield right now just west of Ames where just a few weeks ago I found some deadheads in the smooth brome grass that's adjacent to this cornfield and when I opened up those plants I could find stock for our larvae and I was walking around and I found some suspicious looking plants and I thought I would show them to you guys today and see if we can find some stock for our larvae. So here's the field edge I was talking about. You can see a lot of smooth brome over here right next to this cornfield and I already dissected this plant but this is the one that looks suspicious. It had a lot of leaf feeding so you can see some of those here. I also saw this hole here that might mean that there's a stock borer in there. So since I've already dissected this plant, I know that there's a stock borer in here. And if we peel this back, I think we'll find it. So right here is that stock borer larva. The stock borer pretty much just moved within the first six to eight rows of corn. And sometimes they can be severe, but for the most part, it'll only be pretty much an edge pest near where they were overwintering. They will complete development in these corn plants and then um, they will overwinter in grasses near the edge of corn fields. When we think about management for stock borers, we want to look at the entire field. Sometimes border treatments are justified if uh, the border is particularly affected um, and the rest of the field is totally fine. In order for control, insecticidal control, to be effective, we need to hit those stock borers before they enter the stock. So I showed you some that had already bored into the stock and those insecticides would not be effective on those individuals. And then I sh showed you some where the stock borers had not yet entered the stock and they were still in the world. And that would be an appropriate time to try to target insecticide applications for larval control. 